Alrighty. I hope you are. I hope you can see me. I hope you can see the guitar. I don't think I've played this one for you guys. This is my baby. This has been locked up. This is my white zombie. Custom shop Ibanez. This is actually the beautiful paint job. It's all sparkly. Small sparkly like on a hot rod. Mother of Pearl inlay. Very nice tuners. Beautiful. Very good. Beautiful guitar. Beautifully made. Mother of Pearl on the... Uh... Come on. Tell me. What is it? You're saying it right now and I can't. Binding. Beautifully, beautifully made guitar. It's set. See, the white zombie just broke up. It was 1996, 7, 8, 1998. Anyways, they just made this model, started to make it, the J model, because that's the guy's name, J, that no one remembers now. And when white zombie broke up, these guitars kind of just sat there. A few Iceman people bought it, but... And I saw this one sitting at, uh, was it West LA Music? And it was for like 2500 and then it went down, then it went down, 2000 1500 14 13 12 11 10 I think I got this for like seven or 800 bucks. Beautiful. Now, it's shot back up, of course, because mainly it's a great guitar. It's, it's the state of the art, everything, except for these pickups are mounted directly to the body and it's potted dip, like uh, it's got the whole Eddie Van Halen setup except for this you know pulls back because these guys are on tour with Pantera for a couple of years or at least a year and you know he stole all of Daryl's dime bag Daryl's ideas so he didn't steal it they were buddies and you know that's just the way it is so this is set up kind of like a friggin' Iceman, Paul Stanley model Iceman, but with a crazy paint job and a dime bag Van Halen pickups and tremolo. And these pots pull out. And you know what? I forgot what they do. They're not active pickups. So I'll play a little bit. So hopefully you're watching so you get this answered. It was how do you develop your own style, blah, blah, blah. And this other guy's like, you just play, man. You just keep playing. You develop your own style. Which is true. 
That's how you develop. You just keep playing and playing. You try not to copy. Because I know a guy that he tried to learn exactly what Eddie Van Halen, how he played, and Randy Rhodes, and what's that guy, Stray Cat guy? Sat next to him at the Roxy to see. Hey, uh. I see his hair, blonde. Anyways, he would learn all these different players, Steve Vai, and he could play him exactly. But he had no style of his own. I go, well, so is your right. He would play a song he wrote. It sounded like Van Halen. And then another song he wrote, it sounded like Randy Rhodes. Or one that sounded like Stray Cat Guy. <laughs> So, the point is, hopefully he's not watching. He's going, hey, screw you, I'm a better guitar player. And you are. And he was the guitar player in my uh, Randy Rose tribute band. He's he's great. Great guitar player. Way better than I am. But uh, the way I started really developing a style that was my own was playing live. And one thing I... Because when you're taking lessons and everybody's like you gotta play E like this E E see that's the proper E let me see if I can see the proper E and then the proper D whatever that is I can't remember that's probably not even right and then the G you know but when you're friggin on stage and you got I had my Marshall stack friggin blaring out behind me and you know you kind of get it when you're practicing with the band you're like oh hey this is a different thing because when you're standing up I couldn't do this because the guitar was, had to have guitar low or you look like a fool so the guitar is low and I couldn't do all this I'm like <laughs> so in rehearsal I started learning how to fake all my chords Especially when you got makeup on and you're walking around in heels. Like, no one has to worry about this now. But it was all that other crap going on. I didn't need to friggin' learn, you know, have to worry about playing. I just wanted to play and do the other stuff. Look at the chicks and say, okay, yeah, that one, that one. Not really. So, I started to learn all the chords I could play with one or two fingers which a lot of people do now because they're tuned down, so they just... So everybody now has actually gone past me and plays with one finger. But I learned two. So, usually when I got on stage and I was freaking out anyways, I was like, Arr! either all uptight or wanting to kill the guitar, aggressing, 
I had a lot of aggression when I would play. And everybody thought I was mad because I'd be going, Arr, Arr. but that was Mick Mars to me. That was like, so I was copying Mick Mars' face. And I did kind of sound like him back then, but not that much. But for, you know, I had to learn how to play solos on stage. So I friggin' would run to the uh, nearest monitor, get my foot up on it so I could go down like this. <laughs> So someone was asking me about pickups. He goes, I don't really like EMGs. I like DeMar shells. <laughs> I'm sure he talks just like that. I like DeMarzios too. Most of my guitars have DeMarzios. Except for this one. And the other two. That I'll show you in a minute. I don't want to run over, so I gotta check the time. <laughs> now that they give you 15 minutes to jabber on. I got... 11. All right, so here's this. Hopefully you guys got a good look at it. I'm going to go get myself another guitar. Don't move. I'll probably have to go to another. You know what? I'm going to turn this off now and get another guitar, and I'll see you in a minute. Go to the next video.